On September 10th, the GPS 2F3 satellite was encapsulated inside the payload fairing. The encapsulated payload fairing was transported to Space Launch Complex 37 and mated to the Delta IV launch vehicle on, vehicle on September 18th. The 33-story tower weighs over 9 million pounds and is rolled to its launch position 300 feet north of the Delta IV launch vehicle. The Delta IV 42 stands 207 feet tall, or about 20 stories, weighs approximately 721,000 pounds fully fueled, and delivers more than 821,000 pounds of thrust off the launch pad. For those watching the broadcast, you're looking at video taken last night at Space Launch, Space Launch Complex 37 as final launch preparations were completed. Status check to proceed with terminal count. MEQ. Go. MEQA. Go. HYE. Go. Box 1. Go. Box 2. Go. VP. Go. P&E. Go. VP. Go. ATC 1. Go. PEA. Go. Deal 1. Go. Deal 2. Go. TM 1. Go. ATC 3. Go. TM2. Go. FMA. Go. VE. Go. EEA. Go. GE. Go. SYS. Go. DSC. Go. Timer. Go. ALC. Go. ECS. Go. SC. Go. RC. Range, weather, and clear to proceed. OSM. Go. VSC. Go. AC. AC is go. AC. AC is go. Launch director. Launch vehicle is ready to launch. Mission director. You have permission to launch. Proceeding with the count. T minus 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five. We have ignition of the RS-68 main engine. Two, one, zero. Liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Delta IV rocket carrying the GPS 2F3 satellite for the United States Air Force. The global positioning system provides worldwide positioning, navigation, and timing service for the military and civilian users. You'll be hearing the voice of Steve Agate providing launch vehicle ascent data. Looking good. 30 seconds into the flight. Good performance in the first stage, very little engine movement. 37 seconds in. Chamber pressure beginning to decline now on the solid rocket motors as expected. 47 seconds in, Mach 1, vehicle now going transonic. 52 seconds in, still looking good. Coming up on the one minute mark. Mark, one minute, max Q, maximum dynamic pressure on the vehicle. About 30 seconds remain now for our solid rocket motors. One minute, 10 seconds into the flight. Altitude now, nine uh, nautical miles, velocity 3,140 feet per second. Downrange distance, about five nautical miles. One minute, 21 seconds in, standing by for solid motor burnout, about 10 seconds from now. Yeah, burnout, standing by for SEP. And we have separation, good separation on the solid rocket motors, one minute, 45 seconds in. This is Delta Mission Control at T plus one minute, 51 seconds. Steve Agate just confirmed jettison of the two GEM-60 solid rocket motors, and the mission continues nominally. Our next event is main engine cutoff, or MECO, scheduled to take place in approximately two minutes. Let's go back to Steve. Five seconds in. Altitude now some 28.3 nautical miles, velocity 6,333 feet per second, downrange distance 36 nautical miles. Two minutes, 30 seconds in. Passing Mach 5. Two minutes, 50 seconds in. Still looking good. Good engine control in the first stage. Chamber pressure is holding just where we want them to be. Coming up on the three minute mark. Mark three minutes. Still looking good. Passing three minutes, five seconds. Just passing Mach 10.
good engine control in the first stage. Less than one minute remains in the first stage flight. Passing three minutes, 24 seconds. This is the area where we expect the maximum fairing skin temperature. Three minutes, 30 seconds, and chamber pressure is holding very well. Altitude now passing 57 nautical miles, velocity 57 nautical miles, velocity 13,555 feet per second. Three minutes, 50 seconds in, passing Mach 16. Standing by to go to partial thrust. And we have partial thrust command. We're responding, standing by for main engine cutoff. And we have Miko, standing by for 1-2 SEP. And we have 1-2 SEP command. And we have the NEDS deploy and work. NEDS is deploying. Locked in place. EMA is unlocked. Engine is clear to move, and we have ignition on the second stage. Good second stage ignition. And we've had fairing separation. Good engine control in the second stage. Recovering nicely from the initial transients as we're coming up on the five minute mark. This is Delta Mission Control at T plus five minutes and counting. We've just heard Steve Agate report the successful execution of the events comprising the early portion of this morning's mission. The early portion of this morning's mission. We are now in the first of three planned RL-10 engine burns, and the mission continues nominally. This burn will last approximately. This is Delta Mission Control at T plus 11 minutes, 29 seconds, and counting into the Delta IV GPS 2F3 mission. We are currently in the first of three planned RL-10 engine burns, and the mission continues nominally. Our next event, Second Stage Engine Cutoff, or SEEK-01, is scheduled to take place just about a minute from now. Let's go back to Steve Agid for the call. We'll be standing by for uh, SEEK-01. minutes 30 seconds in. Twelve minutes forty eight seconds in. And we have Seco. This is Delta Mission Control at T plus 13 minutes, 5 seconds, plus 13 minutes, 5 seconds. Steve Agat just confirmed cutoff of the RL-10. The mission now has entered a coast phase. This coast phase will last approximately 9 minutes, at which time the RL-10 will be restarted for the second of three planned burns. While we wait for the next mission event, let's take a look at video highlighting the important capabilities of the GPS blast.